So, uh, yeah, this is my first time doing a sort of a talk, I guess. Um, I'm benefited by having three beautiful naked women right beside me. It's kind of a cop out. Uh, anyway, so I'm here to discuss the relationship between painting and music and um, how I came to paint live when I performed music, which was... Um, I'm a visual artist and I get into these things when I'm home where I'm painting lots of canvases and there was a tour that was getting ready to happen and so I had to leave all my canvases at home and I, the painter in me was kicking and screaming because I was really into the work I was doing and I didn't want to get interrupted by going and playing music. Um, but so I decided to bring the painting with me on the road and bring canvases and painting supplies and sort of paint while I, like in between places or at sound checks and used the paintings as backdrops and I had this idea of sort of blending the worlds that way. But the very first gig was in Los Angeles and I set up a canvas on the back of the uh, stage and I painted, right when I walked on stage I painted something and then right when I walked off. And then I did an interview with a journalist and he said, I heard you paint and sing at the same time. And I hadn't done that yet, but I do use loops. And uh, then a light bulb went off in my head that, oh, I could actually paint and sing at the same time. So it was a journalist that inadvertently gave me the idea to do it. And so the very next day, I, uh, I attempted it, and it worked out. It's a very nerve-wracking, vulnerable thing to do to paint in front of people. Um, Spencer has provided me the challenge of making it even more potentially awkward by painting naked women in front of you. This is the first time I've ever tried this, so. But I think vulner, <laughs> yeah, you can, you can applaud. Uh, I think vulnerability, though, is the sort of the source of the power of performance in a way. I think uh, it's good to set up vulnerable situations or situations where you're uncomfortable, like I am right now talking to you about this. That's why I agreed to do this, because I like this, even though I hate this. So uh, anyway, I, I will, uh, I'll do a song for you now, and uh, hopefully it works out. Such 
sunshine in your eyes Taking on that day When all we had was love Okay, now I'm going to do uh, a song that I've done before painting live uh, with a canvas, so this is more a traditional approach. One thing I found with painting live and singing and doing, blending the performances is I feel like there's an energy that, I mean, I think I first initially attempted to do it as kind of a stage show antic, for lack of a better word, but what I found is that the paintings had an energy that I couldn't really even get when I was painting them in my studio at home. It's, di it's different, but I found that it benefited the painting as much as it benefited the music and vice versa. There was something in the relationship happening. But, so here it goes. A song called I Miss the Zoo.
intensity of addiction in the scene. I miss wandering aimlessly in half-dead sewers with rats for eyes, chewing on forgiveness and the will to apologize. I miss the return and no return as I burn in avalanches of white snow and yellow cocaine. I miss talking to brick walls while following the grain and human dolls as I plagiarize myself like a dummy. Stuff a counterfeit money for Cairo and black honey. I miss illusions begging to be chased even as they disappear into me erased. Till there is no one or nothing but the chase and a powdery ghost with no face or faith in the woman of my dreams. Disappearing without grace I miss the zoo I miss the zoo I miss the zoo I miss evolving into a cloud of blue marijuana Blow from the lips of hookers and pimps as they shake each other down in the alleys for the damn but mighty. No one but the weak around and the beautiful unsightly. I miss numb Neanderthals marching in rows of living dead. From my wisdom teeth to Spain and back again in my head. I miss salvation and syringes and angels of mercy and blooms of smoke numbing rain which drinks with thirsty. I miss glasses full of spirits without tongues. Speak to me of Napoleon's wild nights. I miss staying up for days and becoming a psychic pretzel, flying kites, shoot on by a Zulu heading with toads to Mars, a mysterious prison and one without bars, at least those kind of bars. I miss the zoo. I miss the zoo. I miss the zoo. I miss waking in the arms of strangers like puppies just born in the pound to a dead mother with eyes sealed shut looking for a tit to suck and other dangers when the night before laughter was our only pursuit even as knives carved up our backs and demons sound like Buddhas eating fruit meditating on hate forever in our minds I miss exposing even my bones and the need that rewinds even my burning home even my gutted inner child Even my dead grandfather beneath the ground that's wild Even my criminal family Even my weed whack of thoughts With a thin plastic string to cut the ears off others as I sing I miss Van Gogh's revenge I miss his nightly binge I miss spiders surrounding my bed and lifting me as if an effigy or a dead king A prophet of doom A Jesus for the apocalypse wearing dirt-like perfume Or a mother for Satan or a ghost for all the children of abuse Take me into the fire, watch me burn like a goose As they sing in spider voices There goes creation, there goes the moon There goes the butterfly wanting a cocoon I miss being a bloom and a goon Waking up too soon in the afternoon The doctor of regret Hanging on to guitar strings in tune And hanging by a bell Wrapped around some pipe to know where it fell My lips too wrapped around what appears to be stained glass As religious figures dressed like rocks with class Burn into gas to the center of my brain Before you I'm dying and being born all at once While wearing a hat that reads duds I miss the zoo I miss the zoo Ooh. I miss the zoo Ooh. I miss the zoo I really do Gracias. Okay. Uh, one last thing I want to do right before I get off stage. I really appreciate you guys giving me the space and time to do this. 
Um, I was really affected when I came to San Miguel a year ago. I loved it. it uh, I still love it. I'm back. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, anyway, I wrote a poem about San Miguel last year, and I just want to read it and then say goodbye. Thank you to the... Wait, introduce yourself. Katie. 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 Rachel. Rachel. Oh, maybe you want to stay anonymous. Is that it? <laughs> Marie. And Marie. All right. Give it up. Thanks to Spencer Tunick as well. All right, so here we go. This is called The Doors of San Miguel. I'm going to try to read it slowly. I sometimes rush. Okay. The Doors of San Miguel. You never know what's behind the doors of San Miguel. Could be a friend you lost, singing songs of love and hell. Could be an empty brick underneath a witch's spell. Could be a lonely dog or an endless wishing well. Could be a hidden plane or a ruin from your past. Could be a neon sign that says nothing here will last. Could be a wooden cross or an old Volkswagen bug. Might be a genie drifter riding on a magic rug. But you never know what's behind the doors of San Miguel. Could be a treasure chest or just an antique mirror. And the person looking at you might have eyes of love or fear. And you may not recognize him underneath the desert sky. A thousand hummingbirds may dare you now to fly. Could be a woman ghost who dwells where you are lost. Could be a merchant selling things which haven't got a cost. Might be a beaded skull or a rose that never dies. Could be an empty wall where only madness lies. You call forgotten names, but no one hears you call. They scatter in the wind and rise from where you fall. They pick up shattered ears belonging to the dead who answer all your calls, but only in your head. And you never know what's behind the doors of San Miguel. Could be a scorpion living in a worn out shoe. Could be some wooden nails painted gray and blue. It may even be your mother or some beggar you once knew who you show your empty pockets so that she will let you through. It may be a guru con man or a bird that never flies. It may be a convict screaming without any alibis. It may be a voodoo spider or a ghost of your old self, asking why you left your heart collecting dust up on the shelf, asking why you hid your past or why you changed your name, asking why you filled your bags with all your father's shame, asking why your stomach crawls with all your mother's guilt. Is your skin even your own or some kind of battered quilt? Are you following, are you floating past the sun? Are you hidden in the moon? Can you ever get away? Is there ever any room? Could be a room of paintings, could be a forest fire, could be a falling sky or a church without a choir. But still you hear a song sung from voices out of time as thieves take you apart without committing any crime. You may see a donkey die or just a single star. You may see for the first time just who you really are. And you want to run away, but your legs remaining still bring death to the slave hidden in your will. But then you see her grace, her wisdom, and her trust, her hand upon your face as winds begin to gust. The past just falls away, and there's only you and her. Forgiveness fills your heart, and with it comes the cure. All of your unease is gone and never was, and all you feel is love. There's no reason just because. You finally found your home, but you've been here all along. You know without a doubt. It's here that you belong, and you never know what's behind the doors of San Miguel. Gracias. <laughs>